Hi everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos and this week we bring you another hat tutorial. Yes. But before we start with the tutorial Arne, let me just tell everybody that uh, if you like our videos make sure to give us some thumbs up and also subscribe to our videos please or our YouTube channel. Uh, we post uh, new tutorials every week usually on Sundays. And if you turn on your notifications, you'll be notified each time there is a new video. Yes. So with the formalities <laughs> out of the way, let's talk about the tutorial that we're going to be doing this week. Yeah, and this time we're not knitting through the whole hat because we've done hat videos before. Yeah. And this is more or less the same way of knitting. But in this one, we actually made a traditional pattern, the X and O, but we do all the pattern stitches in a pearl which so, is really cool. So it gives this really nice effect. And structure. And structure. So the pattern is, is always with two stitches in the pattern collar on top of each other. So there's never one stitch mm. by itself in the pattern. It's always two because then you get this very nice effect from the pearl. Yeah. So we're going to tell you everything you need to know to knit this hat. Uh, there's some links popping up already over our heads. Usually I think they are over Arne's head. Uh, those links are actually to two videos that we've done. We've done a hat, we did that. That was one of the very first tutorials we ever did uh, um, when we started our channel. And the second video is a podcast where we knitted a hat from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. So that with those two videos, you will know everything you need to know uh, on how to knit the hat. We're also posting a pattern for this particular design. We're posting that on our website. There's a written pattern as well as a chart. Yeah. So all you need to do is go to arnecarlos.com and you will get the pattern. And so, we also put some symbols for the decrease yes, in, but we will explain. We will do that in the written pattern as well. Yeah. So to start with, you will cast on a certain number of stitches. Is it 64? 64. 64 stitches. We are working on a rather um, thick yarn. Uh, this is Cocoon from Rowan. Uh, if you want to know the colors, it's Seascape. This is the green one. And this is Polar, the white one. Uh, this is a great yarn for a hat project, especially if you're a new beginner with color work. Uh, the reason is that the yarn is in about 80% wool, merino wool, and 20% mohair. It's a little bit hairy, uh, very soft to the touch, but the good thing about it is the lightness. It's a super light yarn that kind of is airy so it really knits Fair Isle beautifully. It's mm. not too bulky no. and we're using needle number... This is number six but you can use anything for like up to eight maybe because we, we made hats with uh, needle six and we made hats with needle seven and knitting is good mm. in any case but you get a little bit di uh, difference in the size so if you want a, like a more fluffy or bigger hat, you can use a bigger needle, um, but don't, not smaller than, yeah. than uh, six. And when we're talking about needle six or eight, we are talking about six or eight millimeters. It's a European size needle. If you are in America or in the UK, you will need to go on Google and get yourself a conversion chart so that you can find the correct needle size in your country. But it's needle number six that we're working with now, a six millimeter needle. Yeah. Uh, should I knit a little bit just to show what we do? Yeah. Yeah. So, so you see the, the white is the background color and that is always a knit. And the pattern is always a pearl, the dark one. And you see when you knit like this Norwegian way, the old Norwegian way, I guess, <laughs> or our Norwegian way. Oh, sorry. It's, it's, it's best, best to have the, the pearl on the finger. Yeah. Because it's not, it's not so easy to pearl if you're throwing. It's easier to pearl from the finger. Or you can switch if you think that's easier. And on this one, there's no, no carrying of the yarn because there are no more than three in between each, in each color, yeah. color. 
and now you see I, I just switch the, the, the yarn from the finger like sometimes I have the white sometimes the green but the pearl is always best to pick from the finger so there's always pearl in in the color looking good so see, this way you get like um, like a cross stitch almost yeah it's a nice if, if nice you knit pattern. with thinner yarn it actually look like a, cr a cross mm. stitch or a, a diamond i think it's called a diamond stitch mm. so this, this pattern is very basic so the only thing you have to remember is the pearl every stitch in the pattern it looks really nice on the inside too i have to say Arne. i know so you want to see from the inside you can still see the pattern so you can even use this as the outside if you want but there's a knot on yeah, the yarn the yarn had a knot i suppose but it looks good from this side as well yeah absolutely absolutely so actually it's two hats in one yeah <laughs> You've done a reversible. A re reversible. Actually, no, because when you finish it, you need you will have a. You have the the, yeah. the thread from the sewing of yeah. the tail. So. And we will post the picture when the hat is finished because I'm not going to knit everything now. And as Carl said, there will be a pattern. On our website, on the website. the name of our website is probably popping so. up over Arne's head right now so that you can uh, go there download the pattern you'll have a look at the picture of the finish hat project and you'll get all the written instructions that you need so, so um, if, if you make one hat and you think it's a little bit too tight you can just make one more with a bigger needle and you can also make it longer because the decreasing starts when the pattern is finished but if you want a little more a longer hat you can just add a few rounds before you start decreasing mm. so this gives you a lot of choices perfect <laughs> so we'll be i yeah. suppose we'll be back with more hat episodes in the future so if you like uh, what you see uh, give us some big thumbs up if we get a lot of thumbs up we know that we're definitely going to be doing more patterns if we don't get those thumbs up we won't, we won't do any do more any, anymore yeah <laughs> we're quitting so no. <laughs> not we're quitting with cat patterns so anyway give us your thumbs up uh comment if you like uh, and remember that you have to subscribe to our youtube channel because we have a lot of fun tutorials there's so many now that you could probably keep yourself busy binge watching, binge watching all of these tutorials for many, many, many days uh, if you want to. Mm. So thank you so much for watching and uh, see you again uh, next week. With a hat. With another hat or maybe something, <laughs> actually maybe something else next week. We do want to keep it varied, don't we? No, people have to post pictures of themselves yeah. with the hat. Then we'll okay. see you next time with the hat. Sure. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.